C'était vers 1912. Jules Étranger à Paris avait demandé à Jim qu'il connaissait à peine de le faire entrer au bal des Quatre Arts. C'est le début de Jules et Jim, les premiers trois ou quatre minutes, qui influencent le style de Goodfellas et Casino et Wolf of Wall Street et tant d'autres. But here you see, I think a lot of it has to do with the relentlessness of the voiceover and the rapid speech, and also the pace of the music under it. It's pushing the images forward, pushing uh, all of this uh, storytelling forward. They're saying so much about each character. Ils se montraient leurs poèmes et les traduisaient ensemble. There's no connection, straight narrative with the images. It just goes everywhere. Jamais trouvé un auditeur si attentif. Particularly at this moment when he's introduced to the girls, that image comes on very quickly and leaves. The pans now, the change of locations is uh, something that is uh, uh, completely unexpected. But here, between the voiceover, the movement of the actors in the frame, the compositions in each frame, and um, the driving force of the music, uh, the beat of the music under all of this, it gave me the impression, the possibility of doing an entire film this way, or at least having the freedom. It feels like it's a sense of freedom. Anything can happen any moment. You weren't tied to a direct story, even, in a, even if it was a story to the extent of a character walking in a scene, sitting down, getting up, walking around, or walking in a park. This is, um, uh, the narrative is completely fractured, I think, uh, by this uh, uh, extraordinary sequence.